Well, baseball's opening day is almost here, but the way we watch the Twins and most of our other Minnesota teams could soon be getting a lot more complicated. Valley Sports North and its parent company Diamond Group Sports Group are in financial trouble and could soon file for bankruptcy. If that sounds like a mess, it is. So we asked Gordon to wade into it. Gordon, I think the most pressing question tonight is will fans be able to watch those games, those Twins games as this is sorted out? Yeah, the league says yes, no matter what happens. Major League Baseball says they are committed to broadcasting the games this season, whether that's with Valley Sports or if they have to take it over themselves. It would be financially very harmful to Major League Baseball. Jason Gerwin is the co-founder of The Streamable, a news website that covers the television industry, live sports, and streaming channels. How bad of a situation is this? They have about $8 billion in debt. Bally Sports North, which owns the broadcast rights for the Twins, Timberwolves, Wild, and Lynx, is owned by a company called Diamond Sports Group which owns the broadcast rights to 42 professional sports teams across the country. Gerwin says when Diamond Sports Group bought those rights from another company, they took on a lot of debt. And with more viewers moving away from cable, the money they're making from them can't cover the debt that they took on as a result of that deal. After missing a payment, Gerwin says Diamond Sports Group kickstarted a 30-day grace period where they have time to figure things out. If they don't, the company may have to file for bankruptcy. But that doesn't mean that they are gonna go away. What that means is that they'll be able to use this time to reorganize the company where hopefully there can be an outcome that works for all involved. Gerwin says there would have to be some compromises. The leagues might have to forgive some of the money they're owed, or Diamond Sports Group might have to make their broadcast rights non-exclusive and let the league sell the rights to some of their games to streaming platforms or other networks. In the meantime, Major League Baseball is preparing to take over broadcasting duties for 14 of their teams by hiring three top executives to lead their local media department. Two of them used to work for Bally Sports. In a statement, Major League Baseball Commissioner Robert Manfred says, quote, we have been spending a lot of time and effort trying to work with Diamond to figure out exactly where they are. We are prepared, no matter what happens with respect to Diamond, to make sure the games are available to fans in their local markets. Major League Baseball is gonna need to put the games on TV one way or another. Gerwin says it's unclear how much these financial troubles will affect the teams and their players. But with the current deal, he says the Twins, for example, are making around $40 million a year, and not having that money could lead to some big changes. Major League Baseball has, you know, a long season ahead of them where they can't, you know, kick the can down the road and, and wait till the fall to figure it out. So I think that's why we're seeing so much more urgency around Major League Baseball. Now, Gerwin says this problem has been a long time coming. With cord cutting, several sports no networks are struggling right now. For example, Gerwin says uh, he estimates that uh, the Twins are likely getting around $40 million a year to broadcast their games. And the average game is bringing in about 50 to 100,000 viewers. With that many viewers, he says Bally Sports and its parent company can't sell enough ads to make these numbers work. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking, well, just offer the games on a streaming channel instead. Well, Gerwin says to make that $40 million with streaming, 100,000 fans would have to pay $400 a year to watch the games. Now, keep in mind that's just twins. They would have to pay even more for every other team like the Timberwolves, the Wild, or the Lynx. And he just doesn't see that happening right now. So for now, he says cable has to be a part of the solution. But there is a chance that streaming could be in the mix moving forward. Yeah, Gordon, it seems like it's just hard to make this math work right now. And for people at home, that's just so much money. Is there anything positive that could come from this? Well, this is kind of, as I mentioned, been a long time coming and a lot of fans have been looking for more ways to watch these games besides cable. And um, everyone I've spoke with said that this could be the thing that kind of makes that change where there's more options for fans to catch these games. That makes sense. All right. Thanks, Gordon.